I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I don't have a ton of stuff that I purchased. I was going to place a order on Sephora but then I didn't because I've got quite a bit of really good PR that I wanted to get through to share with you guys today. But I will start off with um, a couple items that I bought at Walmart yesterday. I grabbed two more of the AF94 Backline Liquid Eyeliners. I've hauled a couple different shades of these a couple different videos. <laughs> um, I really like these liners. The colors are just really, really nice. So I got two more. I'm wearing a uh, Cowboy Code, which is a brown, as a wing on my upper lash line today. And it is a matte formula. It's got a felt tip applicator. It's quite long. Um, I prefer a brush, but I can get away with using this because it's got a nice fine point to it. So that one is Cowboy Code, and then the other one that I got is the shade Vaporized, and this one is like a, it's a black, black and smoky kind of gray with some sparkles in it. It'll add a nice amount of kind of interest um, to the liner, but these guys have got 0 .085 fluid ounces or 2.5 milliliters, and they are made in Germany. It says Animal Test Free Pita Vegan on there so these are i think they're five or six dollars at walmart really nice so that one is vaporized and that one is cowboy code i'll swatch the other two that i have too just so you can see the shades together so i've got shipwreck and there's a little um ball in there so you can shake up the formulation as well so here's sh shipwreck which has got just a little bit more red in it and it's a little bit darker than cowboy code and that one is kind of a uh, matte formulation as well. And then I've got Someone New, which is a blue. This guy right here. And I really like all four of these colors. Again, those are the AF94 Backline Liquid Eyeliners. And I just get them at Walmart. I also grabbed another shade of the True Match Serum Corrector Concealer. So they originally sent me some of these in PR and all the shades were too dark. So I bought C2 in the store because C3, the tone was good, but it was it's just too dark. Um, so I got C2 and that's also, it's not too dark, but it's a, I'd like a little bit more brightening, if you will. <laughs> so I bought C1 because obviously I like the formula. I'm trying to find a shade that works for me, you know. So I have C1 underneath my eyes today. And it's got a little bit more yellow in it than I was kind of anticipating for like a C1, you know, cool undertone um, shade. But I think it still works. So I don't, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to buy any more shades. Although there are a couple other light ones like I think Neutral and Warm, W1 and N1 in the concealer. But I think I'm just going to call it at C1. <laughs> so let me swatch this guy here. There's 0 0.33 fluid ounces of product, which is a lovely amount of product that you're getting. And these are made in the USA. So that is what the applicator looks like. It has a very nice serum-y feel. Um, blends out really nice. And the formula is just really, really thin. Um, which I find pretty undetectable, especially with um, the setting powders that I like to use. Um, it just looks like a really nice concealer. Again, thin formula, easy to blend out, feels comfortable underneath the eyes. So I'll swatch C2 as well, just so you can see the shades together. C2 definitely has more pink in it than C1 does. I'll give a little blend out here. And these are like 10 bucks at Walmart. So you can see the undertone of this is really nice. I just wish it was like a little bit lighter in that more pink undertone. But anyway, super nice concealer from the drugstore. Again, this is the new L'Oreal True Match Serum Corrector Concealer. Um, and I just watched the two shades because for comparison, C1 and C2. And that's everything that I purchased. I know. <laughs> um, I got in some really great PR, as I had mentioned. This first one is from Nomad Cosmetics. They launched some more of their six pan travel palettes. So it's the Nomad Air Collection Round the World Ticket. I always like the little um, like leaflets that they put in with their collection. So this looks like a boarding pass. So they came out with three additional six pan eyeshadow palettes. Um, the first one that they did was just called the Travel Palette. So I'll swatch all four of them together so you can see the shades. But um, I get along with the Nomad eyeshadow formula really, really well. I've got a combination of two of the palettes on my eyes today for eyeshadow. They're an indie brand that I always get super excited about when they launch new products. So let's get into these palettes. We've got the first one called Canadian Rockies. YXC 
and it says on the back destination canadian rockies inspiration mountain calling manufactured at nomad labs in china cruelty free and vegan so there are six shades that are 0.05 ounces or one and a half grams each which is a substantial amount of product that you're getting so cardboard with a magnetic closure and then there is a mirror in there so this is the green version and this one here isn't a standalone for me because I do like a lighter, brighter um, kind of shimmer or even a matte shade for the inner portion of the lid or underneath the brow. And everything in here is, I could probably get away with this one, but again, it's it's teetering on a little bit too medium for like my skin tone. So this will be a pairing palette for me. The mattes are just very, very creamy, very, very smooth. And the shimmers have got a really beautiful shine to them. And these are available right now as well. And then these guys. Really pretty color story, for sure. So that guy right there is the Canadian Rockies YXC. Does that mean cross country? Or maybe it's an airport abbreviation. I think that that's what it is. <laughs> so this next one is Abu Dhabi Zayed A-U-H. Uh, destination Abu Dhabi. Inspiration Desert Oasis. Uh, this guy right here has got the same amount of product as the first one. Same manufacturer. So here is the box packaging. And then here's the actual packaging. So this is a very warm color story. Um, I could make this one work standalone if I didn't like use a lighter shimmer on the inner corner. Um, but I wore four, four eyeshadows out of this palette and then I mixed it with one of the other neutral palettes for the look on my eyes today. But uh, same great formula. The mattes are just really, really smooth. So those are the four mattes. And then these two shimmers. So that one right there is Abu Dhabi. And then we've got Oslo Garter Moen OSL Destination uh, Inspiration Nordic Cool. So this is a cool toned palette and this one here I've got two shades from this one on my eyes which I used this like bright sparkly shimmer on the inner portion and then I used this matte deep shade in the crease to just get some more depth out of it because the um, warm toned Abu Dhabi I wanted I just wanted something a little bit deeper in my crease so I grabbed that shade right there. This one is a standalone for me. And then these two, which these are the two shades that I've got on. So that one again is Oslo Garter Moen OSL. And then I thought I would swatch the first one that they came out with with a collection of like travel skincare and a really cute bag, which I also think that they restocked that as well. So this is just called the Travel Palette. And this one's got three shimmers and three matte shadows. This one is easily a standalone for me. The formulation is just so nice. So we'll put this right here. Just want you guys to be able to see all four kind of together, you know? And then these two. So that is the first travel palette that they did. So there you can kind of see all the tones together. And a massive thank you to Nomad for sending me over their latest launch as well. Very pretty. 
And then I got a PR package from Buxom. They came out with these new full-on plumping lip glow balms. It says instant plumping and 24-hour hydration, which I actually had three of these sitting in my cart on Ulta. So I was really excited to get all of the shades. So here is one of the cards that came inside of there. And it says iconic plumping peptide complex promotes fuller look looking lips instantly and over time. Hyaluronic acid filling spheres, moisturize and smooth the appearance of lip lines, sunflower seed oil and shea butter, deeply condition and hydrate for soft supple lips, tantalizing tingle, <laughs> our signature full on sensory experience that plumps with every application. They came out with eight shades and I've been wearing one in particular quite regularly because I just threw it in my pocket and was like, it was an easy to wear shade. And these have a thinner formula that feel very hydrating, very balm like on the lips and they have a really nice tint to them. I really like how these feel on the lips and the plumping aspect um, isn't massive. It's not one that you're gonna wanna wipe it off or anything like that based off like the, you know, the tingling sensation. It's very, very mild in my opinion, especially in comparison to some other like plumping lip products. Um, I will say that these have, um, it's not like a fragrance. I actually don't see a fragrance listed on the ingredients list, but the smell that these have is very um, like butter type of a scent to them. So you kind of get, it's, it's not lipsticky, I'm trying to explain it. Like, it reminds me of Tom Ford's lipstick formula, those butters that are in the formulation. That's the smell of these. Um, it doesn't bother me or anything like that, but I know some people don't like it, but those are the hydrating aspect ingredients that are in this. Like you've got um, castor seed oil, shea butter, rosemary leaf extract. Um, you've got the menthol in there. Again, that's very mild, but that must be your lip plumper. Jojoba oil, sunflower oil. So it's those oils. That's the smell that these have. So I don't mind it. Again, those are the hydrating ingredients that make it feel so nice on the lips. So let's get swatching these. This is what the uh, packaging looks like. Uh, pink pearl, and then the sticker has the shade and then the name. And these are a click style component. And then I do like how they did the bullet on here that kind of just hugs your lips. There are several shades of these that I just love, like easy to throw in your pocket and just put on. This first one is Peach Smoothie. A really pretty nude. So that one is Peach Smoothie. Should I tell you guys how much product is in here too? 0 0.07 ounces and these are made in Italy is what it says underneath the little sticker there. Um, this next shade is Rosé All Day. So that's Rosé All Day. And then we've got Cinnamon Kiss. This one is Cinnamon Kiss. See, even though it appears quite dark in the bullet, you can see it's it's gonna be an easier one to wear as well. So that one's Cinnamon Kiss. And then we've got Coral Crush. This is the one that I've, I've worn a decent amount of. So that one is Coral Crush. And then we have got Cherry Popsicle. So that one is Cherry Popsicle. And then there's Blackberry Jam, another one that appears darker, but it's got a sheerness to it as well. So that one right there is Blackberry Jam. And then we've got Raspberry Glaze. This is a pretty color. So here's Raspberry Glaze right there. And then the eighth one is called Dolly Delight. It's like a cool tone pink. So again, that one is Dolly Delight. But I really like these. These are like super easy to wear. And again, they feel really, really nice on the lips. So huge thank you to Buxom for sending these guys over. Again, these are their new full-on plumping lip glow balms right there. They got a nice shine to them too. And then I got in not one, but two boxes of eyelashes from Kiss Lashes. 
I love, love getting eyelashes. I like to like try on different pair of eyelashes. Like some people like to try on clothes. <laughs> so I did purchase um, some eyelashes from both of these collections prior to. Uh, some of my favorite like daily wear lashes right now are the high bun that come in the four pack. I've got, I purchased two um, of those and they really last a long time. I'm still like re-wearing pairs from the first box that I had purchased. And the high bun eyelashes are actually part of their new natural um, eyelash collection, which are lashes that they sent me. And I don't think I had hardly any of these um, lashes, but I did purchase two, like I said, two of the high buns and I have another four pack that I bought called Wide Slacks right here, which are also really nice. And then here are the high bun ones for reference. Again, these are the new natural. So they sent over two of their lifted effect uh, trio lashes. We've got NNT01, which are more like the wispies. And then we've got N and T02, which are a little bit more voluminous. Let me get these side by side so you can see them. Also a clear lash glue and a dark one, which I do like dark eyelash glue. I've been grabbing a different set of eyelashes every single day because I've wanted to wear every single pair. <laughs> so um, I've worn freckles. Uh, you can see that I've cut, cut them down just a little bit there. So that one is freckles and I think all of them probably have mascara on them as well, the ones that I've tried on. Then we've got Silver Ring right there. And then Gold Hoops, so the inner portion right there. I have worn those and they have also got mascara on them. <laughs> so that one is uh, Gold Hoops. And then we've got Glowy Skin, a little bit more natural. And I didn't cut these, these are kind of like a two thirds lash already. So that one is Glowy Skin. And then we've got White Shirt. Again, those are from the New Natural collection. And then these ones, <laughs> these are my favorite from the New Natural um, collection that they launched. And these are, again, the high ones. They're just really, really pretty eyelashes. So that is the New Natural collection that they sent over. And then the other collection is Be A Rebel, Rebel Couture eyelashes. So it's this one right here, which I've also purchased. Um, three sets, uh, two of one, because I really liked them. I originally bought one and I really liked the lashes, so I bought another pair. So we've got the Style Vibin, which I've cut those down. I've worn the inner portion. They also have mascara. I kind of keep, when I cut them, I try to be strategic about it, and I'll cut off like a little chunk off the outside, and I'll kind of repurpose it or use it as like an outer, like little lash on the outer corners. So that's why kind of the other piece that I cut, cut off is still in there. So those are the Vibin style and then this one is volume up right there again i wore the inner portion and then we have smudged which i don't know i think i accidentally wrecked uh the outer portion when i was pulling it off of the strip so i just threw those ones away but this one right here is called smudged they're quite long and then we have got downtown girl which these are the lashes that i had purchased um a couple of as well and then we've got main character which i also purchased a set of these and that's how i cut them down to wear them and just a massive thank you to kiss for sending these over um i love trying on new eyelashes i love trying on new makeup in general <laughs> i've also been getting some Too faced pr on the regular which is very interesting um they sent over some of their hangover rx pillow balms which are another product i really like i purchased a trio of their minis. I've actually got this one sitting out right here um, during the holidays and I really enjoy using those. They're just really comfortable on the lips. They do have a slight like tingling plumping effect but it's not one that's overbearing by any means. They're really comfortable and they feel lovely on the lips. So they sent over three shades of these. We've got very vanilla and this has got some really pretty gold sparkle in there. 0.20 ounces of product and made in Canada. And it does have a bit of a vanilla kind of sweet scent to it. So that one right there is a very vanilla. And then we've got Cranberry Crush, which is really similar to the shade that was in the holiday set called Holiday Wine. Is it the same? No, I think Holiday Wine is just a little bit deeper, but um, this one is Cranberry Crush right here. And then the third shade 
It's also got some really pretty sparkle in it. This one's called Pink Mint. Should I smell these? Let me see if this smells like cranberry. Yes, it does. So they each have their kind of individual scent to them. So again, this is Pink Mint. It's got a minty scent to it. So there is Pink Mint. Again, these are the Too Faced Hangover Balms. And a big thank you to Too Faced for sending these guys over as well. And then I got a PR package from Wet n Wild and they relaunched their Mega Slicks lip glosses, which um, OG, very OG product. One of the very first lip gloss products that I've ever purchased when I was like in high school, like 22, three years ago. <laughs> and they sent me every shade of those, which I will swatch every single one of them. But they also launched a new product. And these are the Soft Blur Matte Lipsticks. And these, um, it's a silicone formula for sure. And they've got a nice little tint to them. Very comfortable on the lips. They almost feel like a balm. It's a very interesting formulation. So there are six of these guys. Let's start off with Apricot Smoothie. We've got 0.11 ounces of product in here. And these are made in Mexico. So these go down about that far. So you don't, you do have to worry a little bit about putting the cap back on, but not as much as some of the other, are the older like bullets from Wet n Wild. So again, this one is Apricot Smoothie. So very much that silicone based type of formulation. And then we have got Nude for Love. This is a nude shade. Some of these all, almost remind me of like just a, a matte lip balm with a, like a, a little bit more color to them. So that one's Nude for Love. And then we have got I'm Shy. So here's I'm Shy. And then there is Bali Blossom. They're much more easy to wear than they look in the bullet. So that one is Bali Blossom. This one is Homecoming Queen. And then the last one, which my bullet kind of fell out of the casing there, this one is called Little Red Rosette. So you can see all pretty easy uh, to wear shades. Again, these are the Soft Blur Matte Lipsticks um, from Wet n Wild. And then let's get into the Mega Slicks Lip Glosses. I'm actually wearing the shade, if I can read it, such tiny um, handwriting. Pink Champagne is what I've got on my lips today with just a lip liner. I've got Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think it's called Sunset, Sunrise, something like that. It's got a warm toned lip liner. 0.07 ounces of product in here. And these are also made in Mexico. And there are so many shades of these that I just love. And these, they're glossy, they're very shiny. As you can see, I'll actually put, actually put a little bit more of this one on. Again, this is Pink Champagne. It's a little bit more of the kind of sheer formula. But there's something about these ones that don't have, even though it's a substantial formula, it feels more serum-y on the lips than like a sticky kind of goopy gloss. They're very, very comfortable. They feel, again, more like a, a treatment, a lip treatment product than just a straight up gloss, you know. So again, this is Pink Champagne. And I'll just kind of start swatching these because I think there's 18 of them. <laughs> so that one is Pink Champagne and that's what I've got on my lips today. And then we have got Crushed Diamond. I'm gonna have a hard time reading these because the I threw away the stickers and the writing on the bottom is so, so small, but this one's got some really pretty sparkles in it. Again, this one is Crushed Diamond. This one is Attitude Check. This is a really, really pretty color. So that one is Attitude Check. And then we have got the shade Buried Treasure, a cool toned lilac pink. Again, this one is Buried Treasure. And then we have the shade Sinless, which this is the lip gloss. I'm not sure if the shade names are the same because I just don't remember, but this is the shade that I had like purchased that 20 some years ago. I feel like it had to have been in high school. It's just really high shine, metallic, cool toned pink 
that to this day gives me very nostalgic feels. <laughs> so that one is uh, sinless right there. It's just a really beautiful like shimmer too. I just love looking at it to be honest. And then we've got Love Language, which is a good nude. So that's Love Language. And then this really pretty sparkly one called Crushed Grapes. So this one is Crushed Grapes right there. And then we have got another really pretty cool toned kind of milkier pink. This one is called Low Key Pink. That is such a pretty shade. So that one is low key pink. I probably don't need to swatch the crystal clear shade because this is a crystal clear lip gloss. So it'll just won't show no color. <laughs> um, and then we have got the shade Snuggle Sesh. Like I like every single color, every single color of these. So that one right there is Snuggle Sesh. And then we have Tutu Sweet, which it's got like some metallic kind of sparkles in it, but it's kind of a more clear shade right there. And then we've got the shade Cherish. This is so pretty. So that is the shade Cherish. Next is Nude Mood. Put Nude Mood over here. And then the last two, we've got Past Curfew. So this one is Past Curfew. And then the last one is called Bronze Berry. I love every single one of these shades and because the formulation feels like so like hydrating on, I don't think I'm going to pass on any of them. Like I might give a couple to my mom. <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to hang on to all the shades. They're just really, really pretty easy to wear, like beautiful tints, comfortable on the lips, super high shine. A huge thank you to Wet n Wild for sending me over their new uh, Mega Slicks and also their new matte soft blur uh, lipsticks. I just went into the archives. Okay, I have an archive drawer of lip products. <laughs> and I found the Mega Slicks in Sinless this guy right here. So let's swatch them next to each other. Ooh, the old one is lighter. Mm, the consistency feels maybe not quite as, uh, maybe not quite as hydrating, but funny. I still have this. So this is what the old packaging looks like. I feel like this is, there was an older packaging before this one as well, but. And then lastly, I got in a PR package from Florasis, which is one of my favorite Chinese indie brands. They're just super, super luxe. Um, I love like everything about the brand. <laughs> so even their shipping box is super, super pretty. So they came out with new uh, long wear liquid eyeshadows, which I wasn't sure kind of what to expect, but there are some really, really pretty shades. Um, so these are the Infinite Blossom Long Wear Liquid Eyeshadows. 0.13 ounces or 3.8 grams of product. And these guys are made in the PRC. So this is what the packaging um, looks like for them. I'm definitely going to go out of numerical order, but there are four um, color packages, three shades in each one. So I'm just gonna kind of swatch them by their colored packaging. So these are the ones in the mint uh, green packaging. And then you can see the color of the shadow on the bottom. And then there's this little tassel on here on each one and it's magnetized. So if you wanna take them off, you can take them off. Like Florasis does some of the coolest packaging. So this formula, like upon initial feel, it feels quite silicone-y, which made me think that they weren't gonna like have that solid dry down, but they do dry down. They dry down pretty budge proof, at least on, on my skin. There are some of the matte shades are gonna make some wicked bases. So like this, uh, this one right here is a lime green and it's a matte formula. So like, if I were to take like a, a multi-chrome green and use this as a base, it's gonna be super cool looking. So there are a lot of different ways I think that a, a person could play with these. For one, as bases, like 
the matte ones are ones that I would use as bases myself. I'll kind of blend it out here. I should tell you what color this is. But if you're somebody who likes a sheer kind of wash of eyeshadow, you wouldn't have to use a primer at all. You just use one of these and then blend it out with like your finger or a brush. And the formulation is so thin. Like it's almost like feels like nothing on the skin because that's how thin it is. So again, very like if I go like this, I, I feel nothing on my skin. That's how thin it is. So a uh, more natural wash of color is another way that you can wear these. And then the shimmer shades are so pretty and they'll be great toppers as well. So that one right there, the green is 02. I just love the packaging. And then we've got 03 and this one's a shimmer. It's a mint shimmer. So like another thing, you could put this down first and then top it with the shimmer shade. But look at how pretty this is. And again, the formula is so thin. Should I like dab a little bit over this once? How pretty is that? That one is number three right there. And then we have got the shade number one. Oh, how funny. I actually grabbed one, two, and three right off the bat in the green packaging. <laughs> this one is a matte baby pink color or like a peachy pink. This is number one. They're like such a thin formula. And look how they blend out. Like they have got some wiggle room to like buff them out with a brush too, but when they set, they really set well. So I feel that kind of formulation makes them easy to work with as well, both, both as bases and by themselves. So now we've got the peach packaging right here. And we'll start with shade number six. This is so pretty. This is one of the shimmer shades. Um, it's very multifaceted. It's really, really beautiful. If you like that delicate eye look, putting down that matte shadow, letting it dry, and then topping it with these shimmers, that'll be stunning. I obviously like a little bit more drama, so I'll use something like this as a, a topper, and then again, the matte ones as more like bases. So that one was number six, and then we've got number five right here. Oh, my little, my little guy magnetized it. I think it fell off. It's like a rich Merlot color. So that one is number five. Give a little blend out here. See, even when you blend them out, see, they don't look patchy or anything. And then we have got number four, which this has got a sparkle formula as well to it. Really pretty. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect with these and I'm just kind of wowed by them. They're very, very pretty. So that one again is number four. And then we have got the ones in the lilac packaging. And we'll start with shade number 10, which is a really pretty blue toned matte purple. So that's number 10. And then the other two shades are shimmers, and this is another one of those beautiful, beautiful sparkles. This is the shade number 12. It is so pretty. So that's number 12. And then the third one in the lilac is number 11, and this has also got a beautiful, beautiful shimmer to it. So this is number 11. Right there. And then lastly, we've got the three in the peach packaging. So you can kind of see the packaging coordinates with the colors. So this first one is number seven, and this is a beautiful sparkly champagne. So this is number seven. Oh, did I touch some blue? That one is number seven. And then we've got number nine, and this one is a matte brown. Like I just think like the dimension you would get with like multi-chrome shadows in these mattes as a base, you know, be super cool. So that one is number nine. 
oh, number nine. And then the last one is number eight and it is a peachy orange color. And this is also a matte. So that one right there again oh, is number eight. I'll blend this out a little bit. Yeah, and if you were to wear these by themselves, you wouldn't put, I don't think you'd have to put any type of primer or anything down um, on your eyes. But look at how cool these are. Very, very cool, cool liquid eyeshadows from Florasis. And a massive thank you to them for sending these over. Look at how pretty that is. So um, I won't like swipe the bottom ones because those are a little bit more fresh, but let's kind of swipe the top ones so you can see that they've got a really good like dry down to them, you know? It's such a like, you go like this, it doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin. That's how thin the formula is. Super cool. And that is everything that I have for the haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.